I wanted to talk about this current diet I'm on. This all started because one day I wanted more food and I figured, well, I don't want to gain weight. I want to lose a few more pounds. So I thought, I'll just eat a whole bunch of vegetables. So I ate so many vegetables. And then the next day, about maybe a half hour after I woke up, I started getting dizzy. And of course when you're dizzy it's easy to get nauseous also. And I could not move my head this way. Not even the slightest bit. If I did that, the dizziness and the nausea would increase. I was like that for hours. If I had to go to the bathroom, I had to walk like this. Don't not lower my head. Anyway, the only thing I could think of what could have caused that was that even though it was vegetables and salads that I ate the day before, it was a tremendous amount of food which the body is forced to digest. And water, a lot of water is required to digest a lot of food. So I've done some research and I seem to be correct on what I was thinking and I got so scared of that happening again that's why I started this current um, diet plan of just having a cup of food each meal and since it's a small amount of food I digest it rather quickly so then I end up eating small but frequent meals, sometimes six a day. So there's many different things you can use to measure your food if you decide to do this. You know, um, I take a, a you know official cup measurement, fill it with water, and then I pour it into something else to make sure it's the same. So I found that this particular cup I have is also a you know a cup. And this um, from some non-dairy yogurt is also a cup. So since um, we need most of our energy and calories in the morning, if we have a normal schedule, um, in the morning I would, you know, put the heavy stuff, the things that are, you know, more calorically dense, like, you know, an egg, um, piece of chicken, uh, the beans, the brown rice, things that have more calories. And as the day goes on, the cup will have more light foods, low calorie foods in it, like vegetables, fruit, uh, non-dairy yogurt, salad. So I'll be lessening the high calorie foods throughout the day and I make sure to have some fat, healthy fat with each meal because uh, there are certain vitamins we cannot process without fat. They're fat soluble vitamins vitamin A, D, E, and K. Those are, those are the ones. So my last meal at night or in late afternoon would be the cup would be mostly salad or mostly vegetables and maybe I'd put a small amount of fat in it like one teaspoon of sesame seed paste or one tablespoon of peanuts you know one tablespoon of cashews something like that so you get you get everything you need but in a smaller amount now I'm not a man and I'm not six foot five so obviously I don't need as many calories and I have a kind of a small frame so if you're a guy or or a tall woman you know big boned then you could probably have a cup and a half or two cups you'll have to figure out how many you know how many calories you need you know best after a few years of experimenting with diets so it's working very well and today I started looking up the equation for the fat uh, percentage of our bodies. 
You don't need to have that special instrument called a caliper to, you know, measure your, your fat stores, your fat in your flesh. You know, you just need a tape measure. And there's a certain equation. And I'll plan to put the, uh, the website below where you could just measure your wrists, uh, your hips, your waist, and then, you know, multiply it by a certain percentage to find out your body fat. So right now my body fat is like 26%, which I don't like, although it's considered normal, acceptable. But I don't want to be normal, acceptable. I want to be fit, very fit. So I'll have to work on that. A new exercise I've been looking at online, new for me, is the plank where you get in the position of a push-up, but you're not pushing up, you're just holding that position, yoga style. And I tried that a few times, and it's actually pretty easy. And after I do that, I feel like so energized for a few moments. And um, I'll also put uh, plan to put a website uh, below the video, so you could see how to do it and read about it. I went to the uh, MD Anderson University of Texas website and um, they talk about uh, digestion and health and, and overeating and it seems like overeating does so many things and I'm talking about overeating in quantity. So it does things like put stress on our organs and it could even cause dizziness, so like I had. Anyway, I love to have goals and I love to be very active. And it's not only good for your, your body health, but it, it's great for your mood. And um, if there's people that have treated me bad, I, I always tell myself success is the best revenge. And it'll bother them more if they see me doing so well. I live frugally, so I don't have to worry about money. And uh, I strive with exercise and healthy diet, so I don't have to worry about health. And uh, most of the time, I have an answer for every nasty thing they might say to me. Anyway, that's my thoughts for today.